Uh, spring in New England, it's hard to predict what kind of weather we'll get. But even on this wet and cloudy day, the island of Nantucket, 30 miles south of the Cape, with its pristine beaches, cobblestone streets, and weathered shingled homes, still looks picture perfect and is still enjoyable to explore. Springtime is certainly quiet time here on Nantucket. No big crowds, no lines, and many of the stores are still closed for the season. But there's definitely an energy in the air and things are starting to bloom. It's a spring tradition going back to the 1970s. Thousands of visitors make their way to the island the last weekend in April for the Daffodil Festival. It's a happy event for all ages. Families, children, they dress up dogs and cars and clothing is sort of essential. Whether it's a, a hat filled with daffodil, it's all about being fun and festive and outside. We caught up with a member of the Nantucket Garden Club, Mary Malavase, at Flowers on Chestnut to learn how this annual event evolved. Nantucket had a special summer resident named Jane McAuslin. She realized that a lot of her island friends needed an activity in the spring. Their summer resources from their businesses by the end of April had pretty much run out. So she wanted to do something to have an economic boost for the island. So consequently, she loved daffodils. And the festival was born. Now in its 45th year, daffodils decorate the island and the event includes parades, tailgating, and of course, a daffodil flower show. Regardless of the season, many people like to explore the island by bike. So it's a tank away without a tank. Bicycle rentals are big business on the island, and there are many options, few with the longevity of Cook Cycles, an island mainstay since 1933. We're selling a good time, and uh, people like having a good time. On this day, Cook's co-owner, Tim Mahoney, leads the way as we head out on our two-wheel cruisers to see the sights. The island's 14 miles long. You can do the whole island in a, in a day. We have a lot of conservation land, a lot of ocean. 84 miles of beach. The Brand Point Lighthouse is right around the corner from us. We have a lot of bike paths. It's a great place to ride a bike. And also learn. The island's storied pass provides the scenery. Along the route, venues such as the Whaling Museum, which tells the tale of Nantucket's rise and fall as the whaling capital of the world. And the African American Meeting House, Free black Nantucketers used it as a school, church, and gathering space in the 18th and 19th centuries. Many worked in the whaling industry, such as sea captain Absalon Boston. He set sail on the industry in 1822. It's significant because in 1822, there would have been around 1.5, maybe even more African Americans enslaved in the United States. And at the same time, an all black crew was set in sail to go whaling from Nantucket. During the whaling days, people were paid their equal share. So that allowed whalers to actually accumulate wealth to buy property, which had basically was a way for them to create for themselves, such as building this meeting house. The meeting house, now owned by the Museum of African American History, was also a safe haven for escaped slaves. It's believed slavery on Nantucket was abolished in 1773, 90 years before the Emancipation Proclamation. A stroll down Main Street is always fun. Pop in and out of shops. Need a pair of Nantucket Reds? Murray's has you covered. Or how about a keepsake from the island? This is our handwoven mohair throw. It's all hand-tied fringe. Uh, they come in all different colors. Nantucket Loom set up shop nearly 50 years ago. The idea was to open a weaving studio to keep Islanders employed year-round, um, but also have a gift store. Selling furniture and jewelry, along with locally produced artwork, and of course, their hand-wovens, including table runners, napkins, and towels, all made upstairs above the retail shop. We employ over 20 people year-round, so we're a major place of employment on a small island, which uh, we're really proud of. And we represent a local industry that is kind of hard to find these days. Hand-weaving is really special. Also special, a night stay at the luxury boutique hotel, The Graydon House. On this night, a wine tasting. At the inn's newly opened Venetian-inspired restaurant, Via Mara. 
which is heavily influenced with seafood and local vegetables as well. Some small bites, some big bites. So they're doing a really cool concept. The inn is designed to make you feel like you're staying in a wealthy whaling captain's home from the early to mid 1800s. Our dining room and bar area touches on the china trade, um, the spice trade, um, and various dark woods and has furniture from all over the world. So it blends the whole theme together. There are 20 rooms, each with special details throughout, including unique antiques. A charming place to stay for a springtime getaway. It's been a good ride, Nantucket. Till next time.